Here is my spindle position indicator and it also can be used for the taco. I've placed a 3mm rear earth magnet on the spindle pulley. It's on a 60 diameter circle, 30 radius. And if you calculate them with Mac 3, they give you a signal pulse distance and time. So I've calculated that out the minimum, and it can be 2.7 millimeter. That's a 3 millimeter. I then have a whole effect. Now, this is a module. Saves you putting up, uh, making up your own electronics. This particular one has both a digital and an analog output. Now, what that means is uh, there's a uh, Schmidt trigger there. So when the sine wave comes in, the digital is set to be on and off. So that's then a direct impulse on off on off the analog one builds up and drops down builds up and drops down so the digital has a preset level in it so what will happen there is i've made up a bracket that bolts on to the three holes i've drilled there that fits on there as such this fits on the top and as the spindle rotates it will have the sensor now that can be used for the taco for when you're doing some threading some tapping give you the the position but the reason I've got it is that on the spindle there's two holes on the base I can put two pins in and then on the bottom of my tool holder I'll put two other holes and when it's loaded up the two pins will fit in and locate and drive the collet to help reduce slippage. Now to do that the two pin holes have to line up all the time so you have to know the position. So the idea is that as it's spinning around at 500 or 1000 revs when it's going to do the automatic tool change it will slow down to the minimum speed which is 30 revs then when the sensor is engaged it is sensed can light up it then triggers Mac 3 to stop the spindle now depending on how much inertia is left, you know, it may only move that much at 30 revs. That's, that's what you have to calculate. Then when it finally stops, the two pins will be in a certain position. I want them to be horizontal. So then in the tool holder, all the holes will be in the horizontal position. So when it rotates, they will line up. On the bracket here, I've made the center hole which the sensor can swing left and right and slightly forward and back and that's so as let's just say it stops in that position I then can swing the sensor more to the right so it senses early may trigger there and stop there it may have to trigger over there and stop there so that's what testing will prove but yeah you, you must design all these elements in before you build a product then test and adjust it these other two holes there to lock once this has found its position either pin there or pin there stop it from moving 
So when it's tightened, it can just touch on the pin and it'll be locked in the correct position. If it's over there, I can just make up a little spacer. It is all nicely finished, painted and assembled. It's got the DuPont connector. I've adjusted the standard way it comes off the eBay to match the colours of the actual terminals. Positive voltage is red, negative ground is black. I always like my signals to be yellow so when I'm looking at any of the wiring at the back of the cabinet or machine I know that yellow is a uh, signal and then if it's for X, Y and Z I put a blue or a red or a green bit of heat shrink and I know that it's a signal for that X, Y or Z and the other output is the analog which is the white so signal positive negative I've cut up a bit of the anti-static plastic container that it was shipped in because there was a couple of uh, solder points underneath the circuit board it wasn't completely flat so I've just re recessed that slightly and I've put that in just to protect it in case it should short out it shouldn't but do it once and, I, and you don't have to worry about it and plus it may stop any coolant or any other dust from falling on the top so clears it the little magnet there you may be able to see 3mm one that's held in by the magnetic attraction the north pole faces down so it's attracted to the metal pulley plus now I've spray painted it the paint will also hold it in so it's a combination of the two you could put a bit of araldite over the top if, if you like, but it's not going to cause any problems. It's got an air gap of about one half millimetres to two millimetres. The range, if you look at the specs, they say from half to two and a half millimetres. But this is a rare earth magnet, so the gals is a lot more. So it may say 700 at, at 1.5 millimetres. That might be 2,000, so it's bigger. But again, it's all for testing when it's hooked up to the head. So that's what it looks like when it's all finished. Just spins around there, and that will then run out through the head down to the sensor board. <coughs>